Alright, this is a little bit more updated sp sprite hunting guide, as it is an updated today. As always, I'm going to show how you get there. Now what you need for catching them, you can buy from the guy that's there. That's a uh, yak tree stick and a charm bag. I'm pretty sure, but you can just buy them there. You have to wield the stick to uh, catch the charms though. This is relatively easy. They made it a lot easier because they took away all the trees that were in that area. Now, I don't really know how to pronounce the things' names, but the ones with the yellow smoke trail give you 130 XP, the ones with the orange smoke trail give you 200, and the one with the purple smoke trail give you 400. You need that only 72 hunters required for all three, so just go for the one that's. You should pretty much be able to catch them all easily. There's a guy. Only cost 2k. Now, if you catch a thousand of these, you can upgrade your stick to an enhanced one, which gives you 5% bonus XP in Hunter in any activity as long as you can wield that stick, and you have an increased chance to get rare charm sprites, which is good. Now, how you do this is you just aim, well, you just go for any shaking bush. If you see a shaking bush, go for it and then hit your trap, and any sprites that are in there will automatically leave. You can get one sprite to come out, two sprites to come out, three sprites to come out. Now, sometimes it's tricky to click on them all, as you see that I miss a couple of clicks, but I can still get them all. It's relatively easy, and once you see right there, if you get one and you just see another shaking tree, you can just aim for that. The uh, charms will always come to you, don't worry about it. You don't have to be anywhere close, they'll just float right to you somehow. Now, you see that I'm getting shards there. You need five of them to make a charm of that color. So, just to let you know, you only need 72 hunter for this and if you're a skiller it's great I mean if you're a higher level or you can kill water fiends go there I mean, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's my challenge it's not really the best XP but getting that stick could be helpful in the long run if you're doing hunter and that's pretty much it I mean all there if, as you can see there, that red stuff that's coming out of the tree that means you can't target that anymore but if you see that red stuff vanish from that tree you can target that uh, tree again if it's shaking so just keep that in mind. It's really not much to go on from my last guide. I mean, it's nothing really that different. Just that they took away the higher hunter requirements for some of the sprites. And now you just mainly want to go for the best sprite that you can get for XP. Or you go for all three. Some of them go really fast though. Like at one time I missed one because it was going way too quick for me. So. Make sure to be on guard for quick ones, and it's kind of annoying with a lot of people in the area, so just keep that in mind. It's a lot easier without them. Hope you enjoyed this guide. Thank you for watching.